Hi, I'm Chetna, always raised in Mumbai. When I was a student, I joined a public life. I was a part of a student's movement. I met my husband there, he was a farmer, and I joined a public life at a very young age. I was teaching economics in Mumbai, and I decided that I will move with my husband to his village in Maswar, Maharashtra. I had no idea. He is a farmer. I thought that I will go into the rural areas and work with women there. 30 years back, I met a woman. She is a street vendor and she was vending different types of agriculture products. Kantabai came to me and she said that I want to open a saving account. My obvious response was, you want to open a saving account? Go to the bank. Kantavai said that I want to save 10 rupees daily and banks are not opening the account. And banks said that Kantabai's savings are so meager that we cannot open the account. I thought if banks are not opening the up account of Kantabai, why can't we start a bank for these women? And we started a process of, process of setting up the women's bank. We, when I talked to women, every, everybody was so excited that yes, we are going to set up this women's bank and we applied for the banking license to Reserve Bank of India. I came to women and, and I said that Reserve Bank, Reserve Bank has rejected the license. Women said, why are you crying? Why, so what? We'll apply again. We will learn to read and write and they added, we, don't, we are not educated. We cannot read and write, but we can count. I saw the confidence in these women and we applied again and I'm so proud to share with you that we got the license and this was the first rural women's bank set up in India in 1997, Mandeshi Mahila Bank. When bank was started, very next day we thought that hundreds and hundreds of women will come to the bank and do banking, but women did not come. My obvious question to myself was that there was so much excitement while setting up the bank why women are not coming? I went to street vendors, I went to Kantabai and asked that, why are you not coming to the bank? And women said that, you know what, we work whole day. If we come to the bank, we lose our working hours. We do not have a time to come to the bank. Then we decided if women cannot come to the bank, bank will go to them. And we started doorstep banking. Mandishi was the first bank to start doorstep banking. And we also saw that women want to do savings they cannot come to the bank, bank can go to the doorstep and we design the saving product in such a way that they can save in the boxes because they will not be able to come to the bank daily. So Mandeshi, Mandeshi started up saving boxes and we bought 5000 boxes, a colorful boxes with Mickey Mouse on it so that women can save in the coins because our women were not, are not earning more than $2 a day. We gave boxes and distributed to women and they started savings. Once what happened was that one of our women, Lakshmi Bai, her saving box was full and before our bank representatives go goes to her, her husband broke up the box and took away all hard earned money. The second learning for me was that it is not only that access to banking is important, but control on finance for this, these women is very important. So we decided that these women will not save in box, but they will have an electronic passbook. I'm so proud to say that these women, they said, we are not going to save in the box. We do not want your passbook. You design something which will keep our amount, saving amount secret and which will have our own control. So we had an electronic passbook. You can see these are women. They not only do banking, but they also use ATM. When we started this micro ATM product for our women where they can do banking with ATM, they said that we do not want PIN number. They said that we don't remember PIN and we don't want to mess with it. We do not want PIN number. You find the solution. And then we thought if these women do not want PIN number, they are so clear, they want a simple solution. And we found out the solution was that they can use these cards with biometric. So as our women suggested the solution which was so smart that the ATM card can be used by biometric. Hundreds and thousands of women are doing banking with us. And women have reinvented banking. One of our women came to the bank 
and she said that I want to take a loan to buy a goat. But she said, I don't want money. Tell your loan officers to go come to the market and I will buy the goat and put that amount in my loan account. She bought the goat and then she came to the bank that I also want to learn how to do the vaccination to these animals. So Mandeshi started a business school for rural women, Mandeshi Udyogini. Women like Kanta Bai, Lakshmi Bai started banking with Mandeshi and so many women would start new businesses. One of the women, Vanita Pise, she started a business of paper cup and paper plates. She used to produce hundreds and thousands of paper cup and paper plates daily. She came to the bank and she said that I want to do marketing of my products. So I, I told her, why don't you publish the pamphlets? She said that with these pamphlets, I can reach individually 100 people, but I want to reach thousands. Why don't you find the solutions? And then she said, we have started bank. Why not radio? You know what? Then we decided, why not? Why not start a radio? And we started a FM radio in Maswad, a remote village in Maharashtra, Mandeshi Tarang. This is the first FM radio which is operated by rural women. Can you imagine a shepherd community women become a radio jockey? But our women did it. Thousands and thousands of women here come to the radio and share their stories. They are successful entrepreneurs. They share their challenges on the radio. These women never been to the school, not educated. But with this little support, they started first rural women's bank. They started radio. You can imagine with your little support, you can change lives of thousands and you can be remembered for good. <laughs>